it's your boy, I am Tatum Barber, and I'm back with another edition of Tay's Too Many Tips. My topic for today is improving customer loyalty. My first tip is going to be customer service. Do whatever it takes to make your customer feel like you appreciate their business. Give your customer a wild experience. Give them something that they're not used to. Give them something more than what they get when they go to just any old barbershop or any old business. Make sure when they leave your business, they feel better than they did when they came in. And it's the place that they want to go when they think about whatever type of service they want or whatever type of service they're needing. When they think about haircuts, they think about you filling the blank. I know for me, when my clients think about haircuts, they come to world-class cuts. Alright, number two, humanize your brand by interacting and engaging in social media channels, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube to name a few. Behave like a person rather than a corporation. It makes your customer feel closer. Alright, number three, consistency. Always give your customer exactly what they want every single time. Make it your responsibility to go the extra mile. For example, my client comes in and they schedule for an appointment and they want the basic haircut. Uh, if I have a little more time, I may add an extra service to the service that he requested. If he just wanted a haircut and I got a little more time, I may add a razor line versus just giving him a clipper line. Alright? Number four, improve your customer loyalty by measuring it. By regularly and consistently reaching out to your customers and asking them what you can do to improve your service or make their experience better. Alright? In addition to that, communicate with them and let them know what you're doing or what you plan on doing and also put the action behind whatever you guys communicated on. One thing you don't want to do is get the feedback from your customer, tell them that you're going to do something and there's no action. It's a quick way to lose a customer. Number five, do something for your client that they don't expect. For example, customer appreciation event. Maybe you can have a bowling night or you can have uh, a event at your business, your local business, where you can do small foods like chips and sandwiches and drinks and have games at your business. Uh, do some things that you know your customers will like doing and really appreciate uh, coming to your shop to do. Um, there's other things that you can do. For example, you can send birthday wishes and holiday wishes via email, uh, via text, or send cards straight to the address. If you have a database of all your customers' info and you can uh, send cards, that's, that's always warm and, 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 and welcoming to the customer. You know, that's doing something that uh, most people are not going to do. And again, you want to set yourself outside of what the average person is doing. All right, there you have it. Those are my tips for the day. I appreciate y'all for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to thumb up, like this video, share it with your friends. Tune in next week for another tip from I Am Tater Barber right here on I Am Tater Barber TV. I'll see you guys next week. Yeah. I am Tate the Barber, you need a sharp line and crispy fade, guarantee I got you. World class cuts is where it goes down, spread the word around town, stop on in and check us out, you'll see just what I'm talking about, Barber King of the South, yeah you see the crown, Philly bro, that's how I shape it up or trim it down, any way you want it, Tate the Barber, he the business, world class cuts, ain't no competition.